Hello and welcome to another Practical IT video. In this video, we are going to restore a virtual machine created on Proxmox VE into VirtualBox and make sure it boots up. Let's go ahead and launch our VM, which will start RescueZilla. And once this gets booted up, we're gonna follow the same restore pattern that we have used in previous videos by selecting restore over network, entering our credentials, and selecting the VM we want to restore. And here we go. All right. Restore, shared over network. Select our Proxmox VE backup VM, open, open. Next. Next. We're going to restore and it will permanently overwrite data on the drive because there are no partitions on the drive. Yes. And this is going to take a few minutes, so I will pause and I will be back once the copy process has completed. We finished up the restore. Let's go ahead and shut down RescueZilla so we can boot into the new VM and make sure that it starts properly. And I'll be right back once we return to the virtual box screen. All right. Let's go ahead and start this VM up and make sure it boots up properly. And so far so good. It looks like we're going to be in good shape and have a working VM once this completes its booting process. And of course, if you're going to use this VM as a desktop, you would want to install the VirtualBox extras and get any proprietary drivers or things that you need to installed so that it runs just as fast and efficiently as possible in a virtual machine. And just about there looks like we're going to be good to go and we should get to a desktop here momentarily all right and there we have it we've booted up to the desktop and See if we have some preferences we can change to possibly change the screen resolution. And then we'll go ahead and call this a wrap. Okay, so system settings, window manager tweaks, monitor settings. And currently it's got resolution set to 800 by 600. Um, and let's just, okay. So we've got a usable screen, not perfect, uh, but it's much better than what we started with. So at this point, if I were going to use this or continue testing it, I would get the virtual box extensions installed, uh, find a, resolution I would be happy testing with and then proceed to test out 
some of the software and just the system in general. But for this video, that's going to wrap us up. Uh, we have successfully restored a VM that was created on Proxbox VE and restored it into VirtualBox and it does in fact boot successfully. Again, this is one of those things where it's a handy way to do this and a little uh, less reliant on resorting to command line utilities to do conversions of virtual machine disk types. And that, my friends, will bring us to the end of another Practical IT video. If you like the video, please subscribe, give a thumbs up, click the bell icon for notifications, and feel free to leave comments down below. I want to thank you once again for watching. Stay safe out there. Happy computing and have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.